Hi, I'm Ravi again. I hope you all are fine. This is the part of the part four of this the programming fundamental in the Java. This lesson, okay? Why we are lo looking deeply this fun programming fundamental? Because of <coughs> the programming fundamental very important to learn about every language, say or .NET or C Sharp or VB or whatever. If you learn, you must know what is the programming fundamental on specific language. Without know those thing, we can't do the programming. So I am also completely. Uh, I would I would like to completely elaborate this programming fundamental Java. Okay, that's why I created the fourth le fourth lesson of this programming fundamental talking about the operators. Okay, yeah. What is operators? Okay, what is oper? Okay, first. We are going to look about this in this lesson, the operators. Okay, yeah. What is operators? M most of the people know about the operators. See, we we want that one plus one. Okay, this plus call operators. There's Java has a lot of operators. The uh, the arithmetic operators, primitive operators, relational operators. They have a lot of operators. Okay, so and we want to talk about the primitive and data reference data type that is very simple that's don't worry about because this this is these two uh, different states how we can define a value in or uh, how can we declare a value in a java okay but this operator is very important to do the programming or calculation without loop without conditional loop or without loop in a programming that's not a programming okay so the loop is very important. The same like the calculation also important to the financial application. Okay, for example, financial application. Okay, first we look the reference variable to the primitive variables. Yeah, Java has a two type of variables. What is one is a primitive 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 variable. Second is a reference variables. What is the primitive variables? What is the reference variables? Yeah, here don't worry about. It has no any complex. It's very simple. If we take the primitive variables, the variables with the primitive data type such as int long, yeah, such for example, okay, store data in actual memory location of the where variable is declared. Variables declared, okay. That's okay. What is uh, the primitive data variable mean? Store the data in the actual memory location of the where variable is declared, okay. The reference variable variable that store the address in the memory location not the actual place is in the address of the memory location okay and also the reference variable the point to another memory location where actual data is so actual data and memory location are different to the reference variable but in a primitive types it's the same place in the same location got the point okay when you declare the variable of a certain class, you actually declaring a reference variable to object with the certain class. Okay, yeah. So when we are using this uh, reference variable, okay, that's very simple. See, when we declare declare a variable of a certain class, okay, you are actually declaring a reference variable into the object in the certain class. So like say, I am declaring class of employee class name is employee. So when I'm going to declare a variable called name. It is a, it is a under the class, so this is a reference variable type. Okay, yeah. For example, what are the what what, yeah, what are the example we can provide for this scenario? Okay, integer num is a ten. It's a primitive type. See, it's a primitive. String name is a reference type. So you can understand what is a primitive and what is a reference. Okay. So most of this in the string and sha and those things are reference types what integer long float everything is a primary types okay okay so now we are look how can we handle inside the memory these two variables yeah. the fix is shown below is actual memory of your computer where you have address of the memory cells and variable name and the data they called see the memory this is a memory location this is a memory location okay the variable name num name okay the num is a data 10 so the same queue same place is declared in the variable okay number integer number because 
but name is address 2000 but it's a variable where the values where the data is hello so we can we will the point that you see the location in that at 2000 point okay but in a num integer or long when we declare the variable and assign the value to that it's point the same place and same area same same point okay same position okay now you can understand what is the two these two but when we do the programming but we don't care about that but at least we must know the programming fundamental okay yeah now let's move operators yeah i told earlier operators very very important to the program language there's a we have so many uh, different few type of operators the arithmetic operators relation operators logical operators and continuous operator these operators follow a certain kind of precedent that the compiler will know which operator to evaluate first and case of multiple operators are used in the one statement yeah operators are okay we know operators plus minus as and so many so many and and or we you know but in the compile or whatever language compile or dot net or java whatever language they have the precedence to the compile those those sequence the operator like a sequence so which one we can exclude first which one the second ones evaluate so they have orders okay okay see arithmetic operators summary okay First, we will talk about the arithmetic operators. Okay, okay. Plus, this is very simple. This is a variable x1 plus x2 at x1 and x2. I don't explain this thing because it's very, very, very basic level. Okay, as like multiplying, backslash or divide. Divider is a divide by the x1 by x2. The percentage, the mod get the mod remainder of the x1 to x x1 and x2. And the subtract sign is subtract from 1 to x2 to x1 okay okay we now go to the demo that's very important okay how can we we can use this okay let's let's create one example operator demo okay yeah i want to change my place local that's ch i'm changing my the location to save my code then it's very easy to use again okay yeah i'm putting here sorry sorry i'm putting here demonstration lesson five yeah okay let's let's go and look operators finish okay okay let's do some here something here okay don't need this one yeah integer i'm selling integer the m1 equal to zero integer sorry sorry m1 okay m2 equal to 10 this one for 5 okay first we do the sum calculation okay in dj i'm going to result in dj result okay zero okay this is out out print okay first i'm going to add m1 and m2 okay yeah how can we add result that is returned result equal to m1 plus m2 m2 okay then i'm going to plus results add plus okay yeah result okay the next i'm going to um, subtract m2 from m2 from m from m2 and m1 okay 